Yahoo. Cause hold on, I gotta woo start right now. Y'all don't understand how mad I am right now. Like, this the reason? This the reason people don't be wanting to realize, you know, the army got me fucked up. How the army got you fucked up today, Wells? Well. What's up, guys? What's going on? This JP with Convives. And let's talk about this. I've just seen this young lady. Uh, she did a video on TikTok. I don't know what the hell she did. But she came on there. She's a young soldier, PFC in the military and the army. And she comes on here literally crying that she thinks she's about to get deployed. Now, before I explain this shit, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's go ahead and hit that little subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Show your support. I appreciate those that just came on and showed some support uh, i will put your names in the description and i really appreciate you guys now back to the business this young lady comes on and literally crying that she thinks she's gonna get deployed now she works in finance and anybody that know that been in active duty or anything like that when even if you all deployed those type of uh, job, they are way away from all the action. Way away from it. Actually, they have pretty good fucking living. Wherever they are, they are set up really nice. All right. So they're not out guarding shit and doing stuff. Their job is finance. They're like an admin. So they have them put away somewhere away from everything because they have to process so to pay. So she's overreacting. Now, did sign up. It's a volunteer situation. I was recruited. I know how that shit works. Nobody forced her. Nobody made her. She signed up. She wanted that college shit. She wanted to get away from home. She needed a new start in her life. Whatever the F it was, you did it. It's called being an adult, so be responsible. But check this shit out, man. I want y'all to see this shit. How she went from shaking her ass on TikTok while doing videos to crying in the same shit. Now she gonna get her ass in trouble. Watch. She dancing, living the good life off army money. <laughs> living the go, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, going crazy off the army money. Now it's time to divvy up. A few moments later. Well, I'm gonna try to, try to keep it together. But, um,. So I just want to make this TikTok because I was just on live this morning. And of course, we all know uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. But in this TikTok, like, of course, you know, okay, I'm in uniform. Everybody knows what's going on. So, of course, everybody coming in with the Ukraine, Russia, and all of that, you know, comments or whatever, asking questions. And I'm just like, I'm not here for that. I'm not addressing any of that. But then, like, it's just like... I really hated how people are so insensitive, especially like, and it's like, it's the civilians and, but they're so insensitive to like what military people really go through. This is my first term. And like, it's like, y'all like, what makes me so mad is like, y'all are so insensitive. Y'all want to talk about, oh, this is what you signed up for. This is what you, nobody goes into the military wanting to go to war, thinking they're going to go to war. I'm financed for crying out loud. Nobody thinks this is going to happen. But like civilians, y'all get to go home. Y'all get to go to y'all families. Y'all go to work. Y'all know what y'all life is going to be. My life is so unpredictable. I could be deployed within the next few days. Like Aww. I really just like... I didn't come into the army for this and it's just it really like it kind of it hurts me like and I don't I don't really like to let stuff affect me but this is affecting me because this is my life <sighs> but I just I, if anything I really just want people to be like be more sensitive to the situation because this is my life we're talking about like there's potential that like honestly like there's potential that, that anybody going over there can't come back won't come back so it's just uh, I just really I don't I don't honestly I don't even know why I'm making this but it's just like 
people talking about the situation like please just just keep in mind these are real people people that have families people that have children and y'all making jokes about it and y'all this and y'all all of that and these trolls i'm like these are real people real life situations like please just be sensitive to stuff because like i'm not gonna lie to any of you i'm scared as hell right now i'm just oh but uh to all my battles out there huh good luck to all of us because oh man oh god this is not this has not been an easy morning i was up till 2 a.m last night because and then it's just like the army's not the only thing going on in my life right now so it's just like this is just more added on to it but we strong we're gonna get through it we yeah. all right so i ain't gonna spend a lot of time talking about this young lady you sign your ass up you enjoy all this shit. You probably got some money. Go to school. You sitting in finance. But you go in about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. You out of there by 5. A good life for you right now. You on there shaking your ass, doing videos and all this shit, TikToking. And your ass going to get in trouble. I used to tell y'all young soldiers, stop going on the TikTok and matching that shit up with your military stuff. Now, somebody going to see this shit in your command and you getting called in that office. You might be missing some money for a little while because they tell y'all not to go do this shit. Especially when a situation like this is kicked off. So, all I can tell you is that's what you signed up for. You enjoy the liberties of what the military has done for you so far and what it's going to do for you. Um, go handle your business. Get your ass back home. And keep on moving. And now everybody out there that be crying and whining and whatever. Look, this is a soldier's life. This is what we sign up to do. This is what we do. I served 27. I've been to all kind of shit. So, you'll get over it. You in finance. You'll be fine. So, guys, y'all let me know what you think. Like I said, young people, stop getting your ass on TikTok and social media. Y'all have your ass over there in combat talking about some TikToks. Take the shit serious. Stop fucking around. Subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell. This JP with Convives, and I'm out of here with this stupid shit. Y'all young people, get y'all shit together, man. God dang. <laughs>